Oh my god. I used unjust ejection to pull you over to where the Atlanteans are. Holy crap. Okay, and skipping past Ghost, go to Shapeshifter Nino. And heading over to Abyss Foscari. This should be fun and not at all a problem. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, one of the worst weapons in the game. At least you get that effect. And I get garlic, because boy do I need garlic just to survive. And it'll be Metal Claw to round us out. Gonna get low on health? Gonna go Berserk on the back end. And weapon pickup. Mini shape shifting. Oh, not having a third passive is so problematic. Hey. Hey, Siri, yep. That will affect nothing, because it's bad still. Oh, the garlic will make me safer. And I do have early evolutions here, so... Oh, Marola! Getting on just ejection will help considerably. But that is for in a bit. Not right now time. Not right now time. So we are first. The ability to just... This is basically only going to survive off of constantly healing off of dead things. I mean, at the very least, it'll take care of... Uh, whatchamacallit. I forget. No, no. Words. Oh, I've lost the script. You know what? Stalker shows up or Drowner shows up. Yeah, I can just, just vent. Because they will be hit by just vent for some reason. Alright, look up. And 17 health back. Boy, howdy. That means it's 10 base, right? And then increased by every point. Let's go grab another bit of it. 22. Well, that math exists for sure. I have both of them evolved. Alright, there's Soul Eater. And there's the Unjust Ejection. Now I can head over to those Atlanteans and give them the what for. As it turns out, that having a weapon that isn't base trash is helpful. Oh hey, a new effect with that vacuuming. Neat. 41 enemies were ejected to their death. Huh, that isn't remotely as fast as it used to be. Guess it got changed. I haven't used it in a while. Oh, I'm immune to shoots. That's nice. Oh, if only. One light. Hey, you got grabbed by it. Nice. Right now, it's gonna be Cerebon Day of Healing. Reset overall ability. Turn those into the bigger nukes. Well, this is already being problematic, but the Zerker packing. You're heavily relying on the big fuzzy fist in the end. This is probably not gonna go well. Or I could go Rondo Disco of Gold cause issues that way. It'll be risky, but will the payoff be enough? I mean, I'm getting hit really badly by enemies this easy. That's not a good sign for later. And I got tapped again. 
The fists are big and they are fuzzy. Hmm. Probably actually gonna have to select level ups. Not a good amount. But that is a good amount. Well, they really can't come in, but they're not... Well, duration, yes. That's better. Area... Why do you have areas? That shouldn't even affect anything. Well, this is more consistent, so... Big Fuzzy Fist is going to be doing so much, so focus on that. And then... Might... Amount 1, what? How does that even work? It's all going to be on that fist, unless there's nothing else to do. Speed is not helpful at all. Ooh, that got damage increased significantly. Not a great one, but still. And the more area I can pump out on Soul Eater, the better. Well, they're lasting very long, which is never a good sign. You know, the janky movement is helping. Area... I don't know what area even does, since it's supposed to hit the full screen. One more big fuzzy fist. Not having that cooldown reduction is sure being felt, huh? Still enough will be enough. That will be enough. Oh man, not even 10 minutes in and they're doing a lot. Area. Area. Yep. This might not be survivable. Still, I will hold out for as much long as I can. Ooh. That's rare. Ugh, good grief. The value of little. Yeah, okay, I got 473 health. Wait, don't I regen or get more health? Um, when something happens, I swear that was some sort of effect. This get fuzzier when they get mightier. Man, if these guys with their like 3,000 health are lasting this long, it's not a good sign at all. Nope, still haven't taken down one, and I've been here for quite a while. Oh boy. Well, at least this protects me nice and well from the explosions from Maddener. Huh. Did that area get increased? Cause... Ow. Weird. Well, the healing does do the healing. Yeah. Big old ball ass to damage there. Very least any chickens I get will be a lot better. And some Atlanteans have gone down. Area Ooh, good amount of level up there. Could have been better, could have been worse. Take what you can get. Especially when there's so little to take here. Is it? Still don't know how it works. You know, if I just run in the direction it opens up, I basically can't be hit, huh? Still don't know what amount does, but I'm picking it up anyway. Da -da -da. Awaken, awaken, shapeshifter Nino.
Uh oh. Well, I've had other situations. Well, I don't actually need to move. Not until something happens. Yeah, they're going out pretty swiftly, all things considered. This big fuzzy fist is hanging harder than I figured. Run against the unjust ejection. Fight. Fight for your innocence at all times. Here we go. Area. Need big fuzzy fists to do the most. It's gonna do the most. There's not to say the rarer other stuff doesn't need to be run. Duration will be more valuable. If just barely. Da -da -da. Area means more things get hit. I don't know if area of what area even does for this. Can it do anything for this? Well, 15 minutes haven't lost anything, so. Guess I'm going might on it. Speed isn't helpful. Even if I want to beef it up, it just isn't. A good amount of area going, at least. On multiple properties. Right, skelly mantises. Still no trouble, that's good. Gotta make sure you gotta take them out when you can. 52 health are stored from the bits and bobs, so that's not bad. Oh man, you're surviving NFT hits. It's never a good sign. And everything then explodes. 210 heal for my chicken. That's a lot. Oh, dang it. Oh, things keep progressing. Obviously, the big, scary waves at the end are the major threat here. But, combination of what I have might be enough to counter it. On the other hand, if they don't get sucked in with the unjust ejection, I'm gonna have to rely on chicken. Why well, should go get that last egg, huh? Trying to get some chicken fork going. Hmm. I got a good amount around here, but it's not a random event chicken fort. So there are problems with it. Skeleton, mantis boss. Well, NFT burned you down pretty quickly. That's nice. Huh. I only fire off like once between the switches. Ah, just doing so little damage, even now. Decent enough kill, but it won't be spectacular compared to some of the other stuff. Who knows what amount does for it? Who knows? Area. Well, it's getting pretty big. That's a nice sign. Hmm, this is another NFT. Oh, when it turns into this weird sausage thing, does it get an NFT blast? I know the snowman and the flava dude blast an AOE of elemental damage. It's mostly pointless, but hey. And no, apparently just getting super lucky with grabbing NFTs off the ground or something. Because squid face here clearly shouldn't be doing that. Oops. Amount one, whatever amount does for you, go.
Like, what would it even do? The number of hits? The amount of enemies it can suck in? How long it's up on screen? But then what's duration? Oh, Might and Soul Eater. Clearly the thing you want. More than anything. Yeah, which if that one was surviving that long. Not a good sign for later. On the up hand. Day early. Book up. Recording. Might. Might. Area. Area. There we go. And that big fuzzy fist is big and it's fuzzy. Wait, what? Well, that's curious that you're nowhere near where you're supposed to be, Genevieve. Oh my god. I used on just ejection to pull you over to where the Atlanteans are. Holy crap. That is incredible, and that is 100% going to be... See? Clearly, I'm right next to the armor. What well, my opening is. Because, whoa. Incredible. I've never seen Genevieve come over this far. Otherwise, it's either new or I did pull it out with on just ejection. Oh, they get frozen when you do with a blast. Go right, go left. Well, they're still weak enough that Soul Eater gets them on the back end after the fist, so I can heal. That's about to lose its luster once the Leta clones start coming. Well, granted, a we blast. Wow, that does so much. Why does it do so much? Soul Eater's not even that large either. Dang it, I'm getting too many chickens. And Genevieve is being very loud and annoying. Well, I do still heal. They aren't doing too much to me right now. Big scary wave incoming. Yet strangely. Uh oh. What happened there? I lost control. Oh, they're all stuck in the void. Dang it, I can't get through. Well, on the other hand, I still healed through. Strange. And I guess 5 HP back a second is very helpful. Are you dead yet? Didn't have no. Gotta fix that real quick before things get worse. Oh, that was the wrong call by a million. There we go. Good, uh, level up storm right when it's about to get really dicey. It means they're actually gonna be stronger. So this was bad. Right, here comes 27. And again. Area, area, area. 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 I really should not be grabbing these chickens till 28. Or the bits and bobs of Nino. Crab battle, what? Really? Well, that's timely. That's very timely. That's way too much good luck. Oh, there's a plane about to hit my apartment, isn't there?
Counts as a nuke, doesn't it? Because I heal off of it. Now I can't find any of these dang chickens that are supposed to be everywhere here. Okay, there we go. And I can just random always at this point. And now it gets easier. For a definition of easier. One that I'm not using. Oh, dang it. Just can't find the dang floor chickens. Find everything but them. Yeah, why do I have so many revivals? Whew. And Genevieve survives. But Nino does not. Oh wow, and just ejection did more. Huh. Nito. The leader did not wow, he been Sarabande did a million damage. Hey you. Okay, time for round two, but first something a bit odd is that over there on the right you can see that Shapeshifter doesn't have Abyss Foskari checked off despite, well, that very blatantly happening. There was an issue with the Xbox service and it wasn't correctly tracking some stuff, syncing the data. And, well, that happened. And actually, actually wanted to get this done a day earlier, but... It wasn't working because the game wasn't loading. All right, this is... Huh. I forgot what my build was. I mean, if I got through Abyss Foskari, then... This should be simpler, right? Why the heck did I go? Oh. It didn't even save my settings, huh? Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this in the video, just... Do it. Not wrong one. Eh, garlic. See? I couldn't possibly be lying about something like this. That would just be weird. Thanks, I don't know the same reason what I took anyway. Da -da -da, less than scan, but garlic. I mean, I took down the Atlanteans eventually. The weapon's going. And the weapon pickup. Boy, do I lose so much power. But it is all not worth it whatsoever. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to get through. 16 of 1.7, what? Is it randomized? That's odd, because it was 17 last time. There's some weird that goes on the shapeshifter's health. 140. 140. Hmm. 141. Yeah. When I get hit? Okay, yeah. So my run and do things strategy was right. Let's do that. I thought there was something weird about his HP, but I can't remember. What that means hold off on Hollow Heart for as long as possible. Oh, does Green Acres do early evolutions? I can't remember. There's so much going on, and I don't play this stage that often. And I play it more than the main stages, and I remember what main stages evolve early. 
That's 10%. Oh, it's 20% per heart, so that's 100%. Definitely gotta hold that off till the end. For as long as I can. Freeze. Freeze, you mummy. I wonder why Out of Bounds doesn't work with the freeze from Shapeshifter. I mean, Aurora Logian isn't a weapon and it works. He's hoping for a bit more than this. <sighs> At least it'll be up to 200, I guess. So that's 400 times 5 revives. Gives me 2,400 HP tear through with at the end. Plus a bit more from this healing. Huh. Well, the endless double. The retaliation damage from Legion, would that count? I mean, it counts as you getting hit for the purposes of divine bloodlines, so maybe it would double up. Hmm. Yeah, these are the thoughts I really should have checked. Well, hold off on it for as long as I can. Oh, whoa, I'm really low on health. Didn't realize I got beat up that badly. Ha 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 ha. Good, good. Actually, already broken 400. Obviously, this is me intentionally running into things. I wasn't doing that. I'd be taking much less damage. But I gotta get my strength going as soon as possible. Especially while I have these chickens up. Well. Oh. Unfortunate. Fortunate. Blast them all. Only 17 still. That shouldn't be. Give me my chest. Give me my soul eater. Pulls them into Metal Claw. It's nice. Dang, me no rush. Me no, me no, me no rush. Who knows what it even does? Well, it did the most damage, so I guess I'm focusing on that over a big fuzzy fist. Huh. I get health back. Yay, health back. Don't want to go move until things get a grooving. Wait, why do I feel slower all of a sudden? Oh, well, Soul Eater is doing enough damage that they can't actually hit me. Oh, light source. Hey, eyeball, give me some more health. I have a nice chicken there. Are you Arcana? No, you're just boss eyeball. Man, they're getting in. Doesn't matter, because I'll just heal up, but still. Well, why didn't I just do that to get the chest? Now yeah, we got a big fuzzy problem. Come on. Come on, fuss. Be big, be fuzzy. Just random always to get through this as ASAP and as possible. I 
Okay, let's see if I can get any more health going. 600, that's 3600 health. They'll have a troublesome time getting up that much damage. Even on green acres. Wanted to lean more into the ability to try to go berserk, but... Well, not working out. Ooh, you're durable enough to actually do damage to me. Arcana chest. Well, I should be able to hold off with just Sarabande. Blasting him. That sweet, sweet 200 damage nuke in. Five health regenerator per second is quite the amount. Ah, uh, art storm. And it allows me to run Raya right into their numbers. Oh, yeah. Forty-two hundred. Four thousand two hundred health to go through. Seems increasingly unlikely I'll be hit soon. Huh. Starburst count. Well, it's hard to tell. Blast. Hit. Hit. Yay. 700 health. Let's see. Shapeshifter. It's health. It's how high? Hmm, maybe I should switch the third one to a Divine Bloodline. I mean, it's a bonus stage, so it's not going to really do much, but we can test out if Legionary does affect you getting the health. Luminaire Foscari is not the player character I am playing. Why did I say her name? I have no idea. Who? Mantisy. Well, there's a chicken there, so I can get myself nice and beat up. Yeah, and then I heal back up to full, basically, from it. Thirty-six. Oh, is that based off max HP instead of recovery? That'd be odd, but it'll make sense why I went up with my HP going up and not with my recovery going up. Oops. Uh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You are the only thing that gives me purpose in life, darkness. Please, darkness, don't ever leave me. I will be even lonelier without you. Nope, not going up like the rocket it was at the start, but hey, I'm actually killing my things now. Yum, yum. Punchy punch punch. Thirty six. Forty seven. What? It's just random. Cry battle. C -c 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 Crab battle. And we are taking down so many dang crabs. It's incredible.
Hey, a candy box. Mm-mm-mm, Jolly Rancher. The only candy worth a spit of beans. Man, this stage is so long. Let's just give up. Hey, stage killers. Well, stage killer, looks like you've got killed by the stage. You've been unjust ejected. Blast them. And get them. Get that eyeball. Get that other arcana. I need you. I need you awake. I'm not going to survive that final way without you. Sure, I have almost 800 health and we'll have two revives, but I want five revives. There we go. Nothing's going to get past 4,000 health. It'll only go up, so it'll actually be more than five. Well, it'll be like 4,400 health. Which is still an amount. Which is still an amount. No, it won't. It'll be 4,200 health. It'll be 4,400 if it was 10%, not 5%. Strangely, they aren't really actually hitting me anymore. I guess between the two of them knock, doing just a large knockback, I'm really only going to have to fear the, like, bigger waves who don't have no who have knockback resistance. And Stalker, get ejected. Huh. I think Stalker is sus, guys. Let's throw him out the airlock. Okay, so that's how it works. They just take a huge chunk of damage if they get thrown into the unjust ejection. Well, not that huge, but still. 200 is pretty high. Oh, hey, I've taken damage. You know, there's a chicken somewhere around here. Goody, goody gumdrops. And some more healing. Oh, hey, bosses. Actually, with all these tiny bats up here, I'm going to get a bunch from Soul Eater, aren't I? Funny that. And it triggers the syrup. Bread bats? What kind of s nonsense is that? Oh, still not up to 800 health, huh? No, I'm still getting hit. Oh, maybe there's an HP cap. That would be the perfect time to get the Metaglio. Left, left, to the left, left. Yeah, it seems like there's an HP cap you can gain. Better I'm misunderstanding how it works entirely. Heck, I might not even need the awakes at this point. I mean, it probably still will, but hey. Going a lot better than was on Abyss Foscari, because I actually bothered to get the health up. Oh, hey, I survived the hard wave, and now it's nothing but bats. Who are going to just get knocked back. Or, as some would say, knocked bat. I am one of those some... I am the sum of my parts, and surprisingly, with no deaths, Shapeshifter Nino has conquered Green Acres. The death always gets its prize.
So there was an update or something because Hectic Highway has decided to spawn a million enemies and fill the screen and make it literally impossible if you don't have the ability to tear through them. So I am going back to Moonglow because really I probably should be on Moonglow in the first place. And I will take a nice relaxing trip instead of dealing with that nightmare for 80 hours. Boy, does it suck losing commentary, huh? The heck else do you even have? It's... Oh right, it's Hollow Heart, but... Hold off on Hollow Heart. Hey, it's a bone. Hey, it's also a bone. Um, roll. Uh. Yep. I noticed early on on that hectic highway run that the enemies were seemingly spawning in far more than they were the last time I ran through it. And then when it got big to, to that big walk and tank time, hey, it turns out they filled the screen and there was nothing I could do to, to stop them. And then I missed the third Arcana chest over and over and over again, so I couldn't get awake because I got Sarabande a second, even though awake. I didn't think it was going to be that problematic. That I was going to lose. Because, you know, I haven't really had that much trouble on Hectic Highway in a while. Oh, shit, I got Metal Claw. Wait, I can just run into the pots for damage for health. Wait, does it need to be kill? Maybe it's only if it drops off health. Oh wait, is the transformation an instant kill or something? I don't know what triggers the health increase. It's definitely something involving getting hit. Is it a form change? No, that wouldn't make sense either. Just vent. Spin your record round. Just vent. Well, I'm saving that till I can try to evolve something just in case it'll work. And now I don't get to get any bonus health. Just venting. Oh, just vent, you are so terrible, and yet you are still not the worst of the emergency meeting weapons because clear debris exists and can't do a bloody thing. Ever. Hey, crab battle. Okay, I have just venting. Well, let's see if this one can mystify in a maze. With more garlic. Ah, uh, square snakes in a round hole. Ah, uh, metal claw in a square hole. I am recording, right? Yes. Weapon pickup, don't mind if I do. Actually, in theory, to hold off on gaining levels for Hollow Heart, that should be for later. But it doesn't matter. It's Moon Glow, and I should not be having trouble here. The claw is metal. The enemy is dead. And Shapeshifter Nino is now a trash can. Yeah. I should be done. I shouldn't be doing this. I should be done. I should be doing the post commentary. The check off and making the thumbnail. And not putting coming up correctly on the video.
I'm slippy. Are you slippy? I'm also sleepy. Are you also sleepy? I don't think I have a voice that you can fall asleep to. Oh, that was just the worst possible time for that, wasn't it? Come on, just get vented. Can't even stay still. They're just gonna get vented. Please evolve. Why are the evolutions here so bad? I have to wait for that dang plant wave. And I'm just gonna keep getting levels because just vent is gonna drag them into me. Which, I guess means on a no-moving challenge, you have worse options. It's basically got the same area as garlic here. Even still dropping gems. Nope, I've hit the cap, they're condensing. Oh, finally something to evolve. Health do I have? 556. That's a lot of health. Even the incredible amount of health I had on Hectic Highway still wasn't enough. Oh, hey, it's dragging in the pots. That's new. Well, not new, but it's never, never been here with unjust ejection before, so it's a new thing to me. But wait, I have Genevieve getting dragged over. That's the thumbnail, though. No, not the thumbnail, but coming up. The enticer. As it were, the preview. So please like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. Demanda. Chicken. Yay, chicken. Oh, hey, it's Drowner. You were just completely unaffected by anything except my position, huh? But, well, the pots m get moved, huh? There we go. Now that it matters, considering it's a minute off of the end. Still. Get back. Dragging the molasses down with you, huh? Your arboretal brethren want no part in this. But you have destroyed it for your own glory. Just random always at this point. It's a minute to go. 30 seconds to go. Oh, are you not affected by just event for some reason? No, there you go. Weird. Well, you're just gonna get locked in outer space. Oh, that was an arcana chest. Clearly that will make all the difference in the world. And it did. Okay, a bit of a plot twist with Hectic Highway down there, but 449 has been done on Abyss Foscari. I have proof of it. Totally on Xbox's fault that if it hasn't marked correctly. And... Uh, Green Acres is 450. Him and Glow is 451. Halfway to 500. In the 400s. That clearly makes sense. Alright, 1,481 to go. Closing in on victory. Thanks for messing around and some more Vampire Survivors Beswick. I hope you had some fun. Like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, thank you.
Either way, have a good day, and I'll see you on that bounce, trooper.